Hello and welcome. I am Pranav Prakha. Let's take a look at newspaper headlines published from Delhi today. First, the Hindu newspaper. Development is my priority. Uttar Pradesh CM. Adityanath heads 47 member cabinet, promises to focus on law and order unemployment. Apart from chief minister and two deputy chief minister, the council of ministers comprise 22 cabinet ministers, nine ministers of state, independent charges and 13 ministers of state. The voters of Uttar Pradesh have given a thumping majority to BJP and now BJP has a star campaigner in Yogi Adityanath as chief minister's face of Uttar Pradesh. Chemical used in IED at railway track identified. A forensic report on National Investigation Agency has said that arsenic sulfide was the primary material used in the improvised explosive device IED which was found by the railway track in Bihar on October 1st last year. Delhi traffic situation alarming says panel police have failed to implement any significant measure to improve situation. Kerala priest stabbed in Melbourne. There is a very disheartening news. A Catholic priest from Kerala was attacked by an Italian on Sunday when the former was leading the mass in the Melbourne church. Manipur blockade finally lifted. Moving ahead to the Indian Express, again the same news about Uttar Pradesh government being formed and Yogi Adityanath taking um, the mantle of chief minister. Need culture of setting dispute amicably outside court, Supreme Court judge. At his Gorakhpur Darbar, selfie with chair, all powerful chitties. And let's see what the Hindustan Times says. Adityanath has taken oath, vowed to work for all of UP. Jats call of stir, but Delhi state on alarm. Expect a hot weekend at 34 degrees Celsius in Delhi. Three stolen mobile phones belong to Dhuni recovered. 279 technical college fake. Delhi tops the list with 66 fake technical colleges. Alarming news. Amit Shah's stamp visible as Yogi, 46 ministers sworn in. Again, this is the take of Times of India on UP coronation of Yogi Adityanath. Almost all papers talking about the UP uh, coronation of Yogi Adityanath. Moving ahead to the business daily is the Mint newspaper. Indian stock in favor despite high valuation. Government lays down strict condition for capital infusion in government banks. First solar may sell 200 megawatt of asset in India. American solar panel maker First Solar is exploring the sale of almost 190 to 200 megawatt of its solar power assets in India. Indian airlines won't oppose Qatar Airways India airline plan. Air India chairman Aswani Lohani has said that state-owned airline will not oppose Qatar Airways' reported plan to enter Indian market, adding that it is for the government to take the call on the matter. Moving ahead with the economic times, why top BJP bosses picked Yogi Adityanath as UPCM? So again, the political news is the lead story in the business daily as well that shows the importance of Uttar Pradesh and the government and the BJP's win in Uttar Pradesh. Beginning of end for FIPB soon. Cabinet may consider proposal on dismantling FDI clearing body in April. Airbnb CEO gives a 5-star rating to India market. Country to become one of the company's key revenue generators, says Brian Tresky. That's all we have in the headlines of the English newspapers published from Delhi. We'll be back tomorrow again. It's goodbye from Pranav Prakha.